Hi grade threes, welcome to your third lesson of music this term. Today we're going to be looking at a very classic song in a different time signature and we're going to try to have some fun with it. So let's get straight into the music and let's read our rhythm. Alright, so if you look at our rhythm, the first thing you'll notice is that we are having a time of two, four, meaning two beats in every bar. So here we have one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two beats in every bar. And this is pretty simple because when we have two notes in the whole piece, not two notes like A, B, C, D, F, G, but we have two types of notes. When we have a quarter note and an eighth note right there. So we have ta, T, 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 ta, T, T, ta, T, T, ta, ta, T, 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 ta, 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 T, T, ta. Now I know I went a bit quick there, I just did the whole thing, but it's really not that hard. Let's try and do it together. One, to melody go ta ti 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 ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ta ti 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 ta 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 ti ti ta so let's try and read our rhythm we're going to read the melody line let's go ta ti 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 ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ta ti 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 ta ta Ta, ti, ti, ta. Okay, that's pretty simple, not hard at all. So let's try and now play it, but we're gonna have to slow it down because when you're playing 2 4, it can be a bit quick, okay? So let's try and now play the piece. G, G, B. Let's go. Again. Now let's take it to bar number two. We have high D, B, G. So we're skipping over all the space notes. So high D, B, G. High D, B, G. That's the rhythm. High D, B, G. Three, go. Let's go. Let's put bar one and bar two together. Let's go. Kind of quick. Let's do it again. Let's go to the next one, bar number three. Easy stuff. We have A, 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 because it's in the space. Three, go. Let's go. Then we put bar number four. We have a, what's in that space, that first space? It's a, you should know this, an F sharp. And what's in the first line? E. And then, what's dangling? Dangling D. So we have F sharp E D. Let's try bar number four. Let's go Again By yourself F sharp E D All right, let's put the whole of line number one together. Let's go Let's do it a little bit slower. Your turn. All right, let's go to line number two. Remember, this is not line number two because the grand staff puts them all as one line. So this is line one, but we're doing the melody. So let's go from line number two of the melody, which is down here. So let's look at our notes. What we have here is G, G, B, exact same thing that we had in bar number one. Let's see what about blah, bar number five. We have D, B, G, exact same thing there. It's only over here in bar number seven where it changes. So let's try bar number five and bar number six. Three, go. Again, five and six. Now let's finish it off with bar number seven and then to eight. We have A, what's over here dangling? Dangling D, so A, D. And on the second line, it's always a G, easy stuff. A, D, G, G, G. So let's play bar number seven and bar number eight. Three, go. Again. 
Let's put the whole of line number two together. Melody, go. Now let's put line number one and line number two of the melody together. Three, go. A bit slower. Now that was the melody. Let's now try the harmony of each line. So let's start off over here. The harmony looks pretty easy to be honest because it's just two notes, two notes, two notes, two notes per bar. It's just where the notes are placed that can be a bit interesting. And it's only in line number two of the harmony where we have a slight change, where we have an eighth note. So let's start it off. We have D, D, then we have G, D. Then we have F sharp, D. So pretty simple, we have D, D, G, D, F sharp, D. So after every note, it's pretty much a D in those first three bars of the harmony. So let's try it out, all quarter notes. Three, go. Again. Let's finish off bar number four. We have an A and a, which note is this? A high D, yes. So let's try that, A high D. Three, go. Again. Last time. Let's put the whole of line number one of the harmony together. Three, go. Again. By yourself. Alright, easy stuff. Let's look at line number two of the harmony. I think it's pretty much the same thing. So we have two Ds, just like in bar number one. We have a GD, just like in bar number two. But here we have a slight change. We still have that same F sharp, but then we go to a high D instead of a low D. Alright? So high D instead of a low D. And then we finish it off with D, D, G. So that's the only time we have eighth notes. D, D, G. So let's try and play the bar number five and bar number six. Three, go. Go. Let's take it to bar number seven. Big leap from F sharp to high D. Let's try it. Three, go. Again. Last time. Let's put bar number five until bar number seven together. Three, go. Again. And then let's finish it off with D, D, G. Three, go. Again. Whole of line number two of the harmony. Go. Easy stuff. Let's put line number one and line number two of the harmony. Not hard at all. Three, go. That's pretty simple. Not hard at all. It's mainly just being able to keep up with the speed because once you speed it up, that's when it becomes trickier. So now let's hear what the piece sounds like when you put both the melody and the harmony together.
Another grade three, so that's head, shoulders, knees and toes and that's how it sounds like together. So really get used to playing both parts of the piece because I'm gonna ask you to try and do a duet where you'll have to either pick one, the harmony or the melody and not everyone can do the same thing. So be versatile, be flexible enough to do either one of them, okay? So practice hard and I'll see you next week for what we're gonna do for our midterms. Bye grade three.